Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to see the Selenium Java version 4.11. So there is a change actually the way that the Selenium manager is handled in terms of the Selenium that we are going to talk about. Also, you can read this blog from the Selenium to understand more about the changes that they have introduced of the Selenium manager for 4.11. Now, I'll just brief about what exactly they've written and how the changes are impacting to your code base. Now, basically what this talks about is that uh, the how Selenium manager is handling the Chrome and also this is not just related to the 4.11, but this is related to the Chrome version 115 actually. So I'll tell you actually that. So now this is my Chrome uh, browser. Now, if I go to this about, you can see that it is the 115.0 some version is there after that some build numbers are there so if it is 115 right it means that you have to download the specific version the chrome driver that is compatible with the 115 now what i have done i looked into the uh, chrome drivers download folder and then if you go to this download version right you can see that there is a warning message they are displaying here now you can see that if you are using chrome version 115 or newer Please consult the Chrome for testing availability dashboard. Now this page provides some convenient way to download the specific Chrome driver. Now what is this all about? And you can see that all the lower version of the Chrome browser that is less than 115, you can straightforward download the Chrome drivers. But when your Chrome browser is 115, you cannot download that. So for that, what you need to do, you need to go for the Chrome for testing actually now this is a new concept that the chrome browser has developed now the concept behind this is that this is for testing actually now for any kind of automation testing that you are going to do you will not be going to do your regular chrome browser actually which you have installed okay you have to use chrome for testing now it is just a clone of your regular chrome browser which you have to download as a binary and then you can launch that particular chrome browser to test that okay now for this how do you identify that i mean how does the selenium will identify because you might have two versions one is your regular chrome browser where you can perform all the browsing and all those stuff and then chrome for testing now you have to maintain two different browser versions actually on your system now the another reason now this is dedicatedly for automation testing now why is that they have made this one now the thing is that what they did they wanted to isolate from the regular usage of the Chrome browser now in this case if you see that anytime you open your Chrome browser right and then you go to the about you can see that it is it is checking for the updation if there is any auto updates are there or not now there are a lot of uh, hackings we do that to stop our what you call automatic downloads and uh, security patches it is in, uh, installing also time to time now what the problem is that as it updates the chrome browser you have to maintain the chrome driver as well like let's say that i would have chrome 113 two days back so i would have downloaded the chrome version 113 but now when I opened after two days my Chrome browser, it becomes 115. Now the Chrome driver which I had is not compatible with this latest version of the Chrome browser. So you have to again re-download that. Okay, so that is where actually it is having one of the problem that you have to keep updating your Chrome driver. Now that is one problem. And then the another problem that Chrome actually came up with this Chrome for testing. The reason is that it may not be auto updated every time. You are keeping isolated the Chrome for testing session of the browser and also it won't be auto updated. So for certain duration of time, you can still continue with this browser only. Okay, so that was another thing. Now, so that is one part from the Chrome for testing actually. Now, if you see that there is a uh, let me just go to this actually now you can see that chrome for testing reliable download for the browser automation you can read this post actually what they are telling auto update great for user painful for developers or for the qa automation qa engineers they have given a nice documentation here you can read they have given couple of example for the puppeter as well okay now when i looked into this then i came into this particular page where you can literally download the chrome for testing 
and also the updated browsers uh, the chrome drivers as well okay you can see that all these stable versions they are there now this is chrome driver actually you can see this is the chrome you can see all these are the chrome application and these are all the respective chrome drivers for each operating system so you can download all these things you can also see here also they are giving a link to download okay now this is very specific to the chrome changes right chrome browser changes if you are using 115 you need to download the chrome browser and the driver from here now let's talk about the selenium side why did i spoke about the 4.11 now all the changes were related to the chrome right now what is the change 4.11 is bringing now this 4.11 is bringing the selenium manager changes with respect to this chrome for testing now think about the the selenium manager before to 4.11 what it was doing if you see that there were couple of steps right if you see that so the thing was that first it will browser version discovery means it will check what kind of version of the browser is there on your system now in my uh, system let's say that chrome browser 113 is there so it will go to the uh, matrix matrix is nothing but a tabular format where it says that uh, for this particular browser version this is the chrome driver you have to download it now that mapping it is there it will fetch that respective chrome driver version which it needs to be downloaded and then it goes to here like doing some api call and fetching this zip files unzip that put it into the path variable path variable in this sense we used to do that system dot set property those things right it used to do and then it runs your test case all these steps it was doing but with respect to this chrome for testing availability the path got changed first it has to identify that what kind of version of the chrome i have if it is greater than or equal to 115 then this particular link will not work actually they have to redirect to here download the chrome driver here also okay so those things they used to do now there is another additional change they did a kind of a feature i would say which i looked when i looked or read this particular blog post i got to know so the thing is that when think about a situation where you have a new system okay you don't have anything now you are running driver equal to new chrome driver let's say in your selenium test what it does it even downloads the chrome browser as well so that is another new announcement they did now which new chrome browser they need to uh, install it is it for the regular chrome browser or the chrome for testing definitely the chrome for testing now that is another ad advantages so two things we will be seeing here one is actually uh, this chrome for testing which we discussed the another thing is that if i don't have any chrome browser how does the selenium handle start okay now let's come back to this particular framework so we have been discussing about this right if you are if you are now pretty much new to this particular session don't worry about that i will simply uh, describe this so you can see that there is this open browser right if i go to this it simply checks that what kind of browser you are going to handle it and it takes certain chrome options and then it executes that the logic is written here you can see and all the chrome options are written in here actually all these things that's pretty much it and then the test case is here if i run this from here it will run regularly fine that's pretty much about the basics of this particular framework now i have the chrome version 115 now if i go to the chrome about you can see that it is 115 now let's see if it is really working now the chrome driver i have is 114 i will show you that as well so let me go back to this and here where does it automatically updates those things this is the dot cache folder of your user folder selenium chrome driver and you can see that 114 this is the version that downloaded before to this session maybe 2 to 3 days back i would have done this and there is a json file also if i open this into the sublime you can see that the chrome 114 and you can see that it auto detected my browser version as well i just ran couple of minutes back my browser so it detects the 115 now there is actually a slight backward compatibility they given in this sense for the chrome browser 115 the chrome driver version of this is still supporting probably when the build number gets changed like when you come back to this right 
let's say that after some days this particular build will change and then this 114 will no longer exist or it may not be compatible now the selenium will download from the chrome for testing web browser actually from that portal that is how it is now let me quickly run this actually and you can see that there is no issues though i have the lower version of the chrome driver it still runs but there is a warning actually you can see this version of the chrome driver has not been tested with the chrome version though it is working this chrome driver for this 115 it may not be tested or if any issues are coming it may not be related to selenium probably the chrome driver is not able to understand the latest browser sometimes so that is why indirectly it is telling that you have to update or you have to use the newer chrome driver actually now that's where if you go to this chrome driver you will not see that those options and you will end up downloading this chrome for testing that is how all these things are interlinked hopefully you guys got it why am i linking these two things and what exactly the 4.11 is bringing the new uh, concept or the new changes into your selenium manager now if you see that i haven't put anywhere about if you go to this right uh, like this open browser nowhere actually i have mentioned about that uh, system dot set property or chrome options no driver concept i have written because selenium manager does that automatically and if you come back to this right i am using the 4.8.3 okay now in this case because the 114 of the chrome driver is supporting the latest version of the browser it worked fine but let's say you have 116 now this version of the selenium will not work with your latest version of the chrome for that reason you have to change that to 4.11.0 actually so that is what the change it is bringing and i told there are two concepts actually the 4.11 is bringing one is actually it will go to the chrome for uh, what do you call it? it will check if it is 115 then it goes to the chrome for testing to download that particular here chrome for testing and will download here but i told another feature also that the selenium is bringing what if i don't have the chrome itself actually the chrome browser now let me do one thing let me delete that chrome actually from here so i'll go to the applications folder here i'm right clicking and move to bin so i'm deleting for now now let's do one thing i will run the same test only by making it pom.xml i have changed it to 4.11 so run and let's see what happens and you can see that it executed actually all the test cases how did it execute actually i don't have the chrome browser installed right so i will show you one new concept actually now let's go to this cache folder selenium and you can see that there is a chrome version actually now this is chrome for testing actually now it automatically downloaded the chrome browser kept it into its own specified folder or the isolated folder or directory and chrome for testing and you can see that it is the regular chrome browser like but there is a test tag actually here which determines it is not running on your regular chrome browser rather than it is running on an isolated chrome browser package actually and you can see that it would have downloaded the respective version of the 115 chrome driver now this chrome driver basically comes from your this new portal not from this older portal now that's the benefit of this particular 4.11 and you can see that there is no error also here you got it regularly it executed now whenever you open this one like if i go i will open this chrome browser it it should open as it is only there is no problem no problem and you can see that above google chrome for testing actually there it is coming okay you can use it the normal manual testing and all those things but uh, it is recommended that uh, you keep your chrome browser as regular testing uh, regular usage of your browsing and all this stuff and chrome for testing for your browser automation and also there is another option that the chrome uh, is also the selenium is also giving a feature you can even specify a particular version of the chrome that you want to deal with now this is my chrome options dot set browser version actually so you can specify the browser version now let's say that 
eventually your browser version now went to the 120 after 115 like that it went and currently you are using 120 let's say in future but let's say that you want to test your test cases into the prior version of the chrome no need to worry about that you can still specify the chrome versions like let's say that i want to run for the 116.0 no worries now what selenium will do that it will first check if there is a capability set with a specific browser it will download this particular 116 if it is available the same chrome for testing only and then it download it downloads that chrome for you and also the chrome driver respectively those things and it is keeping here actually all these things now let's say it downloaded automatically from the selenium right from the selenium side they kept it and cache and also they are setting all this chrome binaries and the chrome driver everything to the path variable let's say i want to customize all these things i don't want to maintain this particular directory which selenium is doing no need to worry about that you can still use the existing flow that you can say that you can download the chrome for testing chrome driver put it into some location you can use the system dot set property as usual in your base test here uh, sorry into this driver factory and here before to this driver equal to chrome driver you can also do those things so you have to set that system dot set properties for the chrome driver and for the chrome browser because chrome browser is a different chrome browser you can set the options here like you can set that binary path file path of your chrome for testing that isolated package which you have been uh, downloaded to some specific folder but i would suggest no need to really maintain maintain from your side it should be fine let the selenium handle those things okay so that's pretty much it to talk about the usage of the Selenium Manager starting from 4.11 and you can give it a try by doing two different options by having the existing Chrome browser and then delete that Chrome browser and then you can deal with it. But then just one thing keep it in mind this Chrome for testing will not impact your regular usage of the Chrome browser. You can still maintain two different browser versions actually on your system okay so that's pretty much it for today hope this session is helpful so please do subscribe to this youtube channel and stay tuned for the upcoming sessions thank you for watching